Hi, it's Amy from Kahuna Co here. I'm doing our eighth episode of our Lunchtime with Locals series where we go live on Facebook and we go and often surprise a business in town or an organisation or person and do a little 10 minute interview with them so that we can all get to know each other and um, we can stay connected and know about everyone's really interesting businesses. So today I'm at a business that is very close to my heart. Some people might not realise but I actually work in my day job at Stanton Insurance Brokers. Um, I thoroughly enjoy my job. I, if you had have asked me when I was younger if I was going to be an insurance broker, the answer would have certainly definitely been no. I didn't even know what an insurance broker did. So for me to have stayed here, working here for uh, eight and a half years um, with Ron and Marie and all the rest of the team, it's a testament to them and actually also how interesting our job is and varied. So stick with me. I know insurance can be a bit of a dry topic, but we might surprise you. Um, we think it's interesting. We think there's a lot to know and we'd like to introduce you to our amazing team. You can see in the background there, we have a little house, which I will turn around in a secie. But yeah, come with me, enjoy the journey and type if you've got any comments about Stanton Insurance Brokers or about insurance in general, it's in the media at the moment, it's, it's big news. I do need to mention we also have an office in Barham, which a lot of people also don't know about. We have two staff members that work over there. Um, so it's, it's quite a big business. People must think that we just sit in here on our computers and answer phones and type up letters, but we've got a lot going on. We don't just look after locals. We look after people all over Australia and we get the most strangest requests sometimes. And then we just do the basics, cars, houses, caravans, businesses, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, come and meet everyone at Santa Insurance Brokers. I think I've been, I'm more nervous about doing this live than I have for any of the others. And I just feel the pressure of, with all the businesses that I've been to, but I want to do justice to the great businesses and the great people we have and how generous they are letting us come into their business and, and have a look around and be willing to go live on camera, which is very scary, um, but also very rewarding and enjoyable. So come along. All right, there's, so we're in King Edward Street here in Kahuna. It is absolutely boiling. And Stanton Insurance Brokers is, there's our sign, they're in a little house. So a lot of people don't even know that we're here because it's a little quaint old house tucked away. But it is, like I said, a thriving, massive business and yeah, active all the time. Absolutely flat out at the moment. So come up the ramp, got access for people who need to come in. We've got clients of all ages, so we need to be able to cater for that. Now, the staff may not love me after this so <laughs> give us some love here we are here's our front desk with Ashton I'm gonna come back to him later on he he can't wait <laughs> and we've got Ron in his office there I'll go and talk to him later on too give us a wave Ron <laughs> but I'm gonna to head to Sue who has cleaned her desk it does not look like that most of the time I'm going to go to Sue first because she has to nick off soon as part of her job. She's going to do a massive claims assessment with a major claim that has happened recently. Um, so we've got an assessor coming from Bendigo now. He's running a little bit late wherever he is. He'll probably turn up while we're doing this. And um, Sue's going to go out with him to the claim side and she's going to be the manager of, of a major claim. So let's have a chat with Sue. I'll come around to you, mate. Let's stand under the air conditioner because it's like so hot. It is hot. <laughs> so how long have you worked at Stanton Insurance Brokers, Sue? Uh, seven and a half years now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I seconded her. I said to Ron, we were looking for someone with an accounting background. And I said, oh, I know just the girl. So <laughs> it's funny that Sue and I were actually friends, and still are, before. Yeah. And we've managed to work together for seven and a half years without too Incident. much of an issue. We don't sort of, no. yeah, we see each other almost every day and... And, um, and families are friends and yeah, it's exactly. just the way it is that's in a small Stan town. That's what the Stanton team is like, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> What's your favourite part of the job, Sue? Uh, this would be bittersweet, I think, because we get to help people through some tough times. Definitely. So for them, something bad has to happen. Yes, unfortunately. For yeah. us, 
to be able to help and show how good our job is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So helping people with the claims, helping people work through difficult situations if people have something that they need to get insured and you know they have been having trouble getting cover or yes, they yes, just don't even really know where to start. I think that's a huge part of our job, isn't it? So yes, yeah, all ages. Yeah. Sometimes you know, a young one might buy a very expensive car and they don't know, <laughs> can't get cover for it, and then we do all the hard work for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I suppose that leads me into, you know, what's the difference between using an insurance broker to help you with your insurance or, you know, people can just get it online, they can just get their own quotes and organise it all themselves. So why would someone actually use a broker instead? Oh, gee, there's... <laughs> I was going to say, uh-oh, this, this could this go one. this could go a bit long, but anyway. <laughs> I'll make it as quick as I can. Yeah. Uh, the start of the process, I guess, is, is getting quotes, and if it's a hard-to-place risk especially, we can get a, access to insurers that will take on difficult risks, yeah. um, as well as the everyday sort of person, and we do all the hard work for people with their quotes. Yeah. As you know, we don't just have one insurer, we quote with lots of different insurers yeah, I think and people, we choose the best one. People don't realise that too. We're like we're, yeah. We work for the customer, not the insurance company. So we're like, I think I think I write on some of my emails, we're like the insurance ass assistant. Yes. You know, we, ha we, you know, we help you with that and we help with finding the insurance, organising it, reviewing it and if you have a claim. If you don't happen to have a claim, that's kind of a good thing. But, that, um, that's the other but if you do, yeah. we answer the phone and we're right there and, and like you're doing today, going straight there, helping out and getting the ball rolling. Yeah, and not just about the, the claim itself, but the, the people that are affected by the claim. Yeah. You know, helping them out, seeing how we can help them in the meantime, get through yeah. the difficult period. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty important. Yeah, that's right. And that's a service that we offer is if someone does have their insurance that they've organised themselves, then we can have a look at it, check it for them. No mm. obligation. Sometimes people have already done a really good job of organising themselves. Mm -hmm. But I suppose the other thing is that we're, we're also all qualified to do that as well. Like we have our qualifications. Sue's got to answer the phone. Yes. So I'll go and I'll hassle Ashton now. Excuse Let's me. go see. Standard insurance Sue Sue's got it. <laughs> so here's Ashton. Now Ashton is our newest staff member, but you've been here how many years? Oh, six years. Has it been that long? Yeah, that long, eh? Yeah. Did you ever think you were going to be an insurance broker? Never. Never. Um, yeah, it was probably the last thing on my mind when I left school. Um, I didn't know what insurance was or where you could get insurance, I guess. So you've um, come straight from, school straight from school with no experience and then walked into the yeah, Stanton's just team. Happened to know Sue and Sue approached me. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I needed the job at the time. And, yeah, yeah jumped out with two hands and now make sure you give your own business a plug, Ashton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm also a uh, fitness instructor, Die Hard Fitness. So, yep. um, yeah, we'll do that out of hours here, um, usually before work and after work. So it yep. works for me. Um, you do work most, hard. Most days are 12 hours, yep. Monday to Friday. So yep. this time of the week. <laughs> You're fine, and he's got he's a little bit sick too, but you yeah. know, he, he turns up. And what about the Stanton's team? Give us your thoughts on working here. Yeah, no, come on, talk us up. They're a good team. Um, I don't know how to describe them, to be honest. We're uh, just a good bunch, um, not just for work colleagues, even our mates outside. Exactly, um, yeah, yeah, it's just. Good come to work every day. Yeah, but, we have a bit of fun, uh, yeah, don't we? Yeah, a bit of fun. <laughs> so, a bit of banter that gets thrown around in the office and it's all professional, yeah. of course. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a good team and yeah. we wouldn't want to be anywhere else. No, we're yeah. here, we support each other. So, yeah, beautiful, thank you. I'm going to go for no a bit problems. more of a walk around. And Ashton is also part of the local CFA. So, um, yesterday, he had, or whenever the fire siren goes off, he just jumps up out of his chair and we say, off you go, um, see you later. And he goes out and does that awesome community service that so many people do. Um, so I just wanted to show you, we have to brag about our awards here. We've, Sue and I and Ron have got some awards here. So we do take it very seriously. We are all qualified insurance brokers. Um, it takes oh, a bit to get these qualifications. We've all got um, other businesses and other jobs, even uh, the staff in Barham are the same. So we're, you know, pretty lucky. There's our qualifications there. We're pretty lucky and we are self-professed insurance nerds. Don't worry about us. We'll be okay. But 
we do love our insurance. And really what we're working towards here at Stanton's is to change the perception of insurance. Um, it's got such a bad name out there by the, in the media and, and a lot of people do have bad experiences, don't get me wrong. But that's why we're trying to promote using a broker because you do have that person who has your interests at heart, knows you, answers their phone, helps out um, and has qualifications. So that's, that's a really strong point of using a broker. Um, that's why I like my job. It's with helping people, which is ultimately, you know, what I, what I really love. And um, it's also very challenging. It's an interesting industry. There's so much behind the scenes um, that goes into deciding, you know, what insurance policy you should have and um, how much goes into the pricing and so much work behind the scenes doing claims as well. So, yeah, we get to do a lot of different things, meet a lot of different, different people and um, have a lot of laughs. And like Ashton said, as a team, we are just, you know, having a good time most of the time. So, um, and I think that comes from the top. I think I'll go and have a chat with Ron now. If you don't know Ron, I think most people do, maybe not people that aren't local, but he is, you know, one of the leaders of our town and he's been running this business for 20, more than 20 years now um, and has built it up um, just with such a good business model, such a good attitude, um, such, such a good boss and leader and building a great team, very community focused. And Marie, his wife, they are the most generous people. Um, we, Family First is the um, culture around here. So we just go and have to pick up our kids. We go pick up our kids. So, um, and then we give back in spades as well. So that's, that's how the Stanton's team, team works. I wanted to make sure that I don't forget anything. Um, yeah, so let's help us change the perception of insurance. Send us a um, comment, send us a bad experience and we'll empathise with you and, and hopefully if you need help, we can help you as well. Hi Debbie, got a few people watching now. So yeah, we wanna change the perception of insurance because it, it is there to help and most of the industry is, is good hearted. It's very much in the news at the moment because of bushfires, um, floods, all, all that sort of stuff. And we've obviously offered to help out anyone who's affected by that if they haven't got a broker or they're having trouble getting help, um, pro bono, that sort of thing. Because yeah, it's we just love it and we hate people having bad insurance experiences. So. Um, going through my thing here, I'll go and talk to Ron because, you know, he is the leader and uh, probably the most interesting person. Actually, he's got very interesting things in his office before I even talk because his phone will probably ring. <laughs> but look at this. Oh, I forgot to mention, Ron and Marie also run Stanton's bus lines. There's school buses. So that has been in uh, Ron's family since what year do you reckon, Ron? You'll know. We're guessing around 1938. Sort of 1938, ways. Stanton's have been in school buses. A lot of people wouldn't realise, I don't reckon. And this is your grandfather's That's an school bus. A school bus the OH&S on this is incredible. So these kiddies are going off to school. Uh, this little fella, he's hanging out there. Um, we also have sort of ties with the CFA. It was a bit glary there. CFA and... Um, Ron's dad was the one of the longest CFA um, captains at Kahuna Fire Brigade, but that's your grandfather driving there, Ron, isn't it? Grandfather. Wow, eh? How cool is that? That, that was taken around the 1934s. 1934s or 5s. Look at that. That's absolutely incredible. So, yeah, if you want a history lesson, you can always come into Ron's office <laughs> and have a seat. And that's another thing about being here at Stanton's, hang on, we'll go to the other ones, um, is that like everyone's welcome. Um, we've just had what we call Friday morning morning tea, where we have a group of sometimes five, sometimes ten um, people, men, come and gather and just catch up and have a coffee, have a cup, have a gas bag, catch up on the footy news and all that um, out in our tea room, which is very small and very hot. So I didn't know how they lasted here so long this morning, but let's go. So here's Ron. All right, Ron. I know you're really, really happy thank about you, being Amy. in this, but thank you for being a good sport. That's all fine. <laughs> as normal, Amy always manages to raise the bar just a little higher Sorry. for all of us here. Ron has been out this morning, and when he walked in, I'm like, Ron, we're doing lunchtime with locals here. And he's like, oh, okay. Happy. Anyway, we're more than happy to participate <laughs> in the spirit of Amy's hard work. Absolutely. So tell me about your favourite part of your job. Oh, look, I really have to say I enjoy the liaison with all the people. Yeah. That's been probably the, you know, you've got to be, as you all are, we've all got to be people persons and take on board all their uh, 
large and small problems, as yeah. you, I think you might have intimated before. We had a large problem yesterday with a house fire. Yeah. And it's always comforting when you ring up the person and they've put their mind at rest that they really don't have to do anything other than wait till we tell them what's going on. Exactly. And guide them through. That was guided through. So he he was a absentee landlord. He's in Adelaide, South Australia. So yeah. he's very comforted and said, great, thank you, leave it to you. And got their confidence. So yeah. That part's really good. Personal relationships, yep. and I think that's what people probably don't realise is they think insurance, or oh, it's a financial business, or oh, it's all about that. But that's what I've been super surprised about. By yeah, joining the team, it's all yep. about um, people, um, customer service. We pride ourselves on yep. answering the phones and getting that's, back to people, and just providing the highest level of. I think service. that one you just said, answering the phones in 2020 is such a unique situation. Yep. You know, most larger, whether they're car companies or insurance companies or whatever they don't answer their phones so. yeah or you, yeah you're on hold we you beat that trend go overseas or, or whatever so yeah yeah, yeah. so, so that's good i enjoy we... that part i enjoy working with all you all my staff <laughs> it's uh we all get on really really good we've all got a common goal sometimes i wonder who's in charge but we <laughs> that's oh, the best part about it. everyone has some do. everybody has some ownership in the business as far as wanting to do the right thing and, and right. have those sort of results that we got yesterday and you yeah. only get them when people do take some ownership and own exactly. some of our problems for us. Exactly. So. We all work together really well yeah. and, and we've become friends, not just colleagues or staff members. Yeah, and very true. Yeah. Mar Marie, Marie no longer works with us. She's um, taken a retirement, but she really misses the liaison with the staff and with the, with the clients. That's one thing she misses. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Oh, look, so we've had uh, Gee, Justin, a, the assessor, what a, turn up. What a great time for Judd to turn <laughs> hey, up. Hey, Justin, come here for a secky. Come in, please, sir. Wave, this you're is... live on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is Justin from Crawford. In Crawford's in Bendigo. Come yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. do an assessment um, with Sue. So they're going to hit the road now. Where have you been this morning? Uh, with Krang. So Krang, I'm yeah. We go to Krang and finish the day in lovely. Yeah, yeah well thank done. you so much for coming so quickly. We only yeah. only uh, called you last night. Yeah. So, yeah, beautiful. Well, I've only got one more question for Ron. Yeah. Oh, the other way, actually. Don't look at me. <laughs> Strangest request. Pardon? Strangest request for insurance. S strangest request would be to insure. Mm. That is a really good question without notice. Sorry, I was going to give you notice, but I was going to. I was going. It's probably better to surprise me. Um, what about the the gold yeah, gold we, bullion? We have a request <laughs> to organise transit cover for gold bullion out of Southeast Asia into Brisbane. Yes, that yeah. that would be on my number one. It's up there. <laughs> it's up it's there. Up there. <laughs> yeah. But we've also been asked to try and find the cost of insurance, a antique desk yep. that was used by Queen Victoria when she travelled to South Africa. Wow. Well, okay. I'll send the desk. And the thing is, we'll have a go. We will have a go. I don't know if we covered those things, but <laughs> we will have a go at anything. And what about a no hardest claim? Hardest claim? Or the type of claims you don't like? Well, the hard claims are always the ones that are th where we're the third or fourth person involved. Yes. And we mightn't have the actual policy, but would my policy respond because of something that happened to the next or neighbour's place that yeah. would be in the blame for liabilities? Yeah. yeah. Liability claims because yeah. the liability umbrella just opens over everything. Yeah. And normally, even though clients aren't at fault, the legal defence of it. Is yeah, exactly. Yeah, we have had a few legal discussions, haven't we? Legal discussions. <laughs> yeah. Houses burn down, houses get put up. Yeah. Go That's right. No. And like you said, Ron, everyone thinks we just sit in here and answer the phone here, right. and, here, Harry, here's $10 and um, take people's yeah. money. But yeah, don't forget that so the money goes to the insurance I companies. Just thank you for raising the bar. <laughs> yes. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching again. And yeah, hopefully, you know now insurance is not boring. It's, it's a really great job if you're thinking about a career change and um, the Stanton's team are an amazing team to work for. We, um, I certainly appreciate, I've loved my eight and a half years working here and um, the support that we've got. So they're also very supportive of me running Kahuna, us running Kahuna Co. They've joined as members of Kahuna Co Collective and um, very open to listening to how to get online and how to change up. Like the insurance world is absolutely changing. The pure fact that people can actually just do it themselves, um, that's our main competition at the moment. Um, we don't really see it like that because we offer the service on top of that too. But um, that's 
we, something, a challenge that we have to keep on addressing. So we uh, have a Facebook page, um, we don't have a website, but we have a Facebook page and we are contactable on our emails 24-7 um, and on our phones. So yeah, give Stanton Insurance Brokers a like and I um, hope you enjoyed the last episode of the Lunchtime with Locals and um, keep watching. I'll be back next week. Thanks, bye.